LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. You just wanted a follower, didn't you? You sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. What is going on? LAPD, sit tight, fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, Chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. Any name on that list that rings a bell? This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas, a Jorge Garcia Cruz. Don't run off, detective. I'm counting on you to straighten this out. Detective, the pot is on the boil. How about getting on with things? The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. Quit lying, Parnell. How could the cans be coming off the line sealed without your knowledge? You're the kingpin here. You want to make an accusation like that, son? You better have some goddamn proof. When I work out who's behind this, I'm going to throw them out on their ass, and then I'm going to throw you out alongside them. You must suspect someone, Mr. Parnell. Are you sure it isn't someone who stole some of my labels? That would be pretty easy to do. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. You're being economical with the truth, Parnell. You, uh, can't keep the business afloat, so you've turned to dope. Would you like to prove that I'm involved in this scam? I'm a legitimate businessman. I want to get to the bottom of this just as much as you do. You should try being civil and working with me. The dope leads here, Parnell. Your new prosperity won't mean much when the papers hear that this place is a cover-up for a dope operation. Son, that is a scandalous allegation. We fed the army during the war on products canned here, and we were proud to do so. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I I'm not familiar with them all. Tell us the truth, Parnell. You and Cruz are moving dope from Mexico and packaging it up here. I am telling the truth. You don't have one scrap of evidence that says I'm behind this. I don't need any more federal intervention in my business. So stop making accusations and let's work out what's going on here. You're not the type of boss who talks to his workers? I am, but a lot of them don't have much English. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? 
I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. You know this fuck and his brother. They're extorting you and you need to tell the truth. You're out of your mind if you think a couple of beaners could shake me down. Where is your proof? Keep making outrageous accusations and you won't get any more help from me. You're being made a patsy by a dope ring, Parnell, and you're happy to sit here and let it happen. You want my help? I said I'd help. You want to call me names? You can go fuck yourself. I tried to help, but every word I say gets twisted. I'm going to talk to my lawyer, kid. You can work this one out on your own. Show us to the factory floor. Now, hold on a second. You expect to storm in here, throw around a bunch of accusations, and then get a guided tour. Bingo. Let's go, fat boy. I hate seeing how things are made. This is going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. You seem like a nice boy, detective. But if you have any more questions, you really should direct them toward Mr. Parnell. I get off around six if you're interested, but there's really nothing more I can help you with now. Detective, the pot is on the boil. How about getting on with things? The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is I employ a lot of illegals. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. The local blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering, like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on. I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. I hate seeing how things are made. This is going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. So what next? Let's take his nickel tour and have our own look around.
You seem like a nice boy, detective. But if you have any more questions, you really should direct them toward Mr. Parnell. Come on, Roy. On my way.